Hi everyone. This is Joe Lowe. Welcome to my first class. Today in my class mainly focus on face design. Regarding software, I recommend using the following pipeline, iClone CC, ZBrush, Marvelous Designer, and 3 Change, as this combination could dramatically enhance design efficiency. Without further ado, let's begin our class. The first step of design is finding a good reference. Normally, I will use popular movie star as a reference. Let's use my award-winning character as an example. The design is based on Rosemont Kwan. At the beginning, you need to spot out the key characteristics of the character. Secondly, the contour of the face. Thirdly, the facial feature ratio. The purpose is to keep the core characteristics of the movie star. At the same time, you could blend in your own style. One special tip for beginners. To assist in design, you could import picture to ZBrush. By utilizing ZBrush transparent function, you could directly match your design with the image reference. By holding Alt plus Tab, you could switch between ZBrush and CC. You could then drag your mouse and design facial shape of character. When you start your design, you must choose the right default character. Obviously, you should choose a default character look closely to your chosen person. As every default character has a unique combination of points, lines, and surfaces. Since Rosemont Kwan has a diamond face, we need to adjust this key characteristic first. We could first adjust the contour of the face. And then, her facial feature ratio. However, I changed the shape of her lips and the shape of her nose so that my design will have its own personality. It's important to know every change on the facial feature configuration will impact character's personality. Give you an example, the character looks optimistic have a curved eyebrows and it's less close to the eyes. The character looks like a tough woman when the eyebrows have a high arch. You could make reference with the Chinese physiognomy. Look, if you want to make a drastic change, you could directly enter a specific number for the setting value. For example, when you directly input chin sharp value as 200, you will not be bounded by the system restriction, and you can set the value more than 100. In this way, your character will have a stronger chin sharp, and looks much personalized. After you finish the base character, you could do some adjustments on the feature value so as to make your character more natural. The last step is to adjust the PBR roughness. The software I used in this lesson is Character Creator. You could find download links under the description in this video. I expect everyone could finish your design in half an hour. So, let's give it a try. Today, I've explained on how to use CC default character to create your own unique character. Next, I will introduce the techniques of character design on figure. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a message. And please add my Facebook page. See you next time.